your fonts for visiting. Uh, this is reading for August uh, the 12th to August the 18th and uh, as I always ask you if you like this reading uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to, uh, only if you'd like to and uh, I'll start your reading right now. So the first card you have your past strength. I love this. This is you. This is you. I think this is about you and I think this is about you doing what you want to do finally kind of following what you want to do and I think you might have had some other people telling you uh, what to do in the past and you're not following them anymore you're following you and what you want to do that's what I'm seeing I'm so happy to see this um, yeah I think you're getting this new sense of confidence uh, and I think in the past you might have been a bit more like this woman you know helping being there for a lot of different people excuse me <clears throat> sorry about that and uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with helping people, obviously, but um, I think now you're a lot more determined to help yourself, to do things on your own terms. You are becoming the lion instead of the woman. That's what I'm seeing. And I think you might be helping people in new ways, in a new way now or something. And I think this is around a new thing you're doing. There are a lot of people on your wavelength. Um, that you've kind of found if that makes sense and I think all of these new people I think they support you uh, I'm seeing one main person but I'm seeing some other people around that um, and I think that might be a part of what's helping you to gain this confidence uh, so I think you're building on that confidence I think you're still going to keep on building on that <clears throat> I'm sorry about my throat I don't know what's wrong with it um, sorry about that and uh, yeah, I think I saw this in your last reading that, um, <clears throat> sorry about that, there's this thing that you're doing um, and I think it might turn into a full-time job for you, this thing, or a business or something like that. And you're using these skills and I think you've always had these certain skills, they're very specialist skills, uh, you've always had them but you haven't used them properly as you certainly haven't used them professionally maybe you've had this as a hobby or maybe you've done this uh, just in your own time or something and you know maybe you haven't had the confidence to use them before but now you do now you have more confidence so I think also you've been trying to manifest doing this thing uh, for a long time uh, I'm seeing you watching some other people doing similar things and saying oh, I can do that I should do that I can probably do better than them I can probably do just as well so you know why aren't I doing it so either you're doing this now or you're on the way to doing this now I think you have made a start on this and uh, yeah I just I'm just really happy to see this for you uh, and uh, you know this is the right thing for you because of how you feel because I'm getting a really nice really content feeling around this uh, maybe it's not properly off the ground yet maybe it's not paying the bills yet uh, but I think this is about how you feel you feel this and because you feel this you know uh, that this is what you should be doing so this is absolutely fantastic so if you feel right you're on the right track that's what I'm seeing so the next card you have you pass the four of pentacles okay so you're definitely this can definitely turn into into a career for you, you can definitely make money out of this uh, which is what's on this card uh, money obviously um, and um, you might have to spend some money to make some money that's what I'm saying I know that sounds like a cringy business saying and I hate cringy business sayings but um, I think you might have to spend on something uh, that you might have been holding off on spending on uh, I don't know if this is something technical I'm seeing this is something that kind of if you look at this man he's not going anywhere he's kind of stuck where he is uh, because he has all these coins he's hanging onto them and he can't move he absolutely can't move he can't scratch himself he can't turn around he can't sneeze he can't do anything so he's slow he's being slowed down because he has these coins he's holding onto them so I think that's what's happening to you I think something's slowing you down because you're not spending on something and I think after a while you're going to have to spend on this because I think it's just going to drive you crazy. It's not going to be efficient enough for you. Um, I don't think there's any other way around this. I think you're just going to have to spend money on whatever this says. So if this is resonating, don't hesitate uh, because after you buy this, whatever this says, um, things will be so much faster and you'll be more efficient. And of course, that means you'll be more successful a lot sooner than you normally would. 
And, uh, you know, if you invest in this, um, it doesn't have to be a crazy amount of money, but if you do that, that shows the universe that you're serious. And if you show the universe you're, you're serious about something, it gets serious with you. So show the universe you're invested in this. Invest in this. You'll get some results. I'm seeing financial results building up. Uh, I'm seeing some emotional results as well because I'm seeing a lot of people appreciating what you're doing as well. Uh, yeah, the big message here is let some money flow freely in and that's what's going to let the money flow freely out toward you. Don't be like this man. Don't be holding on to every single penny uh, because if you do that, uh, you're stopping the flow of the money. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually seeing a lot of determination around this and it's, it's definitely, definitely going to pay off for you. Uh, you're going to have to be consistent, but I think you are going to do that. And what I'm seeing overall is your determination. So it's your determination is really going to pay off. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your past is uh, the Six of Cups. Okay, so yeah, I'm seeing someone coming back to you, something back, someone coming back to contact you. Uh, and I'm saying back because this is someone from your past. This is the Nostalgia card. I can't quite see if this is a love connection or not. It might be. Um, but it's a bit hard to see that because I think when they come back to you, when they come back to contact you, I don't think they have yet, but when they do, uh, they're going to connect to you in a sort of a, sort of an innocent way, if that makes sense. Um, they might come back as a friend or they might just come back to ask you something very innocent. Um, uh, it might develop into something more, but, um, definitely in the beginning, uh, there's not going to be any love around this. The feeling I'm getting here is uh, very, very platonic, very innocent. Um, I'm also seeing a family connection with them. So maybe they knew your family or your families were close or something. It's something like that. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of an awkward or slightly stressed feeling around this as well. So, you know, they might be feeling a bit nervous about contacting you. Um, I'm actually seeing a little bit of... Um, a little bit of backwards and forwards energy as well so maybe they're hesitating but they are going to do this they're going to contact you definitely so just be ready for that if you know who that is if that makes sense to you um so the first card you have your presence the four of cups yeah so maybe they're worried maybe they're worried about being rejected um they might think you're going to reject them um, I don't think you would though. I'm not seeing any problem with them. I think you'd be open to them. So I don't know why that is. They might just be a nervous person. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing, okay, I hope this is going to make sense. Okay. There are a lot of changes happening uh, in your life. A lot, a lot of big changes. I'm actually seeing, um, so I think with these big changes, I think you're kind of gradually moving away from a lot of old things and you're moving away from a lot of old people as well. Not necessarily old people as in age, but old people as in people that you don't quite um, fit in with anymore or they don't fit in with you. That's what I'm seeing. This is about you changing into a kind of a new person and uh, these old people and old circumstances and situations don't fit in with that anymore. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so I'm seeing a group of people here and I think you used to see them all the time. I think you'd talk to them all the time. You used to love talking to them. You used to enjoy talking to them. Uh, I'm seeing downtime here. So I think when you had any downtime, uh, you'd talk to them. Uh, and it was something, again, it was something you used to love doing. And now I think you're starting to move away from that group. Uh, and I think you might be starting to realize uh, that some of these people, not all of them, but some of them, I think they're kind of stuck in a certain place in their lives. And I think you used to be like that. You used to be stuck in that same place. Uh, but now you're moving on from that. And I think you're probably eventually going to move on from these people, not overnight. Uh, I'm not seeing any falling out. Um, you don't dislike them or anything like that. You don't have a problem with them. They don't have a problem with you. Uh, you've just changed and they have as well. So, or they've stayed the same, I'm sorry, and you've changed. So I think, yeah, I think you've just outgrown them. I'm just seeing you gradually becoming more distant as time goes on. That's what I'm seeing in that card. So yeah, the next card you have for your presence, the star. 
beautiful. I love this. It's probably one of my favorite cards. This and the temperance card actually. Um, so yeah, I think I keep on seeing this thing you're working on here. So, um, you know, I'm just looking at this water that she's pouring out onto the earth and she, it's making these kind of little rivers all over the earth and, and the grass. So you're really pouring everything into this. You're pouring your emotions in, you're pouring yourself into this, your whole self is going into this. And that's what's going to make this pay off. You know, it's going to give you stability as well. You know, the water's being poured down onto the earth. So, uh, and you're going to get a lot of growth. Look at these little flowers on the grass. And this is showing me that you're at the early stages of this. You haven't reached your peak. You haven't reached anywhere near your peak yet, the peak of your success. Um, you know, the star's there, but it's at a distance. So yeah, you're going to keep on going. Uh, you're determined, you're resilient. You know, there's an ibis in a tree right at this woman's elbow. And, you know, ibis are really, really resilient birds. Uh, you know, they can live in cities, they can live and thrive anywhere. So, um, and also the other thing I'm seeing is you might have to travel with this eventually. So keep that in mind as well. Probably within the next few years, that's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your presence, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I think you might also be moving on from someone else, someone who... Uh, someone who you might have been holding on to uh, internally, just inside your heart, like, oh, maybe this can work. I'm still holding on to that. That's the kind of thing I'm getting now. So I think as someone who um, you might held out some hope for, um, you know, this is, yeah, this is about someone who you're really, really holding out for, I think, for a long, long time. And you're kind of keeping this to yourself. You're holding out for this person a little bit, keeping this in your mind. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe there's still hope. Um, but uh, you're very quiet. You weren't telling, telling anyone about this. And I think now at this time, you're going to finally be able to move on. And I think part of you has been wanting to do that for a long, long time. Um, but um, I think another part of you just kept on holding on to this person, thinking, oh... Maybe there's still a little bit of hope. No, I need to move on. No, maybe there's still a bit. Maybe there's some hope. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I think they might have been keeping track of you a bit, uh, whether that's on social media or it might be that, you know, they've been asking people about you. It might be that. I'm just looking at this wall of cops. I'll just, I'm just going to move it so you can see. So there's a wall of cops. And um, there's a window there, there's a gap, and you can see the man through the gap walking away. So someone's been watching you, and I think they still do sometimes. Um, they're watch, kind of watching you through their emotions. So they're still feeling some emotion for you, and they're watching you. So, um, yeah, you are finally moving on, though. You're finally moving on from someone in your heart. That's what I'm seeing. I think you're already moved on physically, but I think you still howl them in your heart a bit, and now you're moving on from that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the first card you have for your future is the uh, Empress. Yeah, again, I'm seeing this. It's really strange. I think this person still watches you. I think they still uh, find you to be really, really attractive, like this beautiful Empress. Um, but they're not around you, and they're not talking to you either. Um, I think you know that if you connected with this person again, uh, it'd probably be a disaster. I think you've always known that logically anyway, but... Now your heart's kind of catching up with that logic uh, because I think you're just making all these changes in your life. And uh, yeah, this is it's kind of like you clearing the way for this new abundance that's coming in. So you're clearing away this old person in your heart that you've carried around. You're clearing away this group of people. You're clearing away all the old attitudes and all the old things. And you're making way for the new things to come in. Um, I'm also seeing a year here. So, you know, it might take a year for this thing to take off properly for you. Uh, you know, this empress has 12 stars in her crown, representing the 12 signs of the zodiac. So, yeah, a year. Uh, but it's definitely going to take off. And I think a big reason why this is going to take off for you and go really well for you is because you're like the empress. You're caring. You generally care for people. Uh, your clients, whoever this is going to be, uh, you're helping, you're offering this service to whoever this is, and you genuinely, truly care about those people. And that's why you're going to have this success. Beautiful. 
So the next card you have your future is the High Priestess. Yeah, I actually think this person in the Eight of Cups, uh, I think they've thought about contacting you a few times actually. Uh, they haven't done that. And um, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm glad. I'm glad they haven't because you know this person isn't right for you. And you know, you're definitely moving away from them in your heart. You're getting over them. But there's always that tiny little spark there, that possibility of something happening uh, that might just tempt you back the other way. So I'm really glad they haven't tried to do anything like that. Um, and the high priestess can be about a woman who's obviously up high. She's the high priestess. So sometimes she's seen as um, the unobtainable woman, the woman who you can't quite reach. She's up there and you're not quite up there with her. So um, I think that might be how this person sees you, um, you know, as someone they don't really feel that they have a chance with anymore. So yeah, I don't think they're going to contact you. They're still thinking about it. They're probably still watching you. They still think you're attractive and all of that, but I don't think they're going to act. That's what I'm seeing now. So the last card you have your future is the Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, I think this is really just summing up what I'm seeing all over this. Um, you know, there's this new work thing, this career direction. Uh, it might not be your career yet, but I think it will be, definitely. Um, you know, look at all this growth. This is what you're going to be looking back on in the future. You're going to be saying, oh, I worked so hard. Look at what I've achieved. Look at this. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. So again, it's all over this reading, the success you're going to have. It's everywhere. The work you're putting in, uh, you know, you're putting love in, you're putting care in, you're putting yourself in, putting money in, hopefully, if, if um, what I'm seeing in the Four of Pentacles is correct and you do do that. Um, so everything that's going into this, it's absolutely 100% going to pay off for you. Fantastic. So Leo, I really, really, really do hope this resonated with you. But as you know, general readings uh, can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. And uh, thank you so, so much for watching.